All right, guys. Sorry it's been so long since an update. I have been pretty busy. Got all my insulation put up on the walls, not the ceiling yet. Using the uh, Rock Saw Safe and Sound. And boy, let me tell you, when you put this stuff up, the echo just disappears from the room completely. So like I said, I've got all the uh, walls done so far. I'm working on my ceiling right now, fixing to start on it. And we got sheetrock coming in this afternoon. Got all my wiring done. What I've run into is, and I was curious, this is where one of my surrounds is gonna end up. So I was gonna mount me a little brace, like right here, so that when the sheetrock's up, I can just uh, anchor it into the brace and then put a hole through the sheetrock and run my speaker wire through and connect it into the back terminal. So my question was basically how high do most people, is it like 50 inches, 40 inches, how high do you want your surround normally to be, I guess ear level when you're sitting, is what I would assume. And the same thing with the rear surrounds that I'll have coming back here. Just a few idea and things I gotta tidy up before we put the sheetrock up this evening. So other than that is my progress. Uh, I'm not going to insulate this room because it will have a solid core door going into here and it will have, I'll have all this up here uh, blocked off with insulation as well. So, and this room will be bare so I can run cable later. But yes, you can't see it in here, but there is a pipe conduit that I ran through the stud and my wires, that's my ethernet wires right there coming through and I'm gonna have a rack sitting in here. Uh, the other end of the pipe <coughs> was up here. You can see it sticking up above the stud. It comes down through about halfway and there's all my cables coming out right there. I'm just gonna do an after, an old box installation or low voltage ring, however you wanna call that. I'm gonna do one right here and that's all gonna be tied in right there. So I'm kind of a obsession freak with power. So I ran three separate uh, uh, circuits. I've got a junction box here, here, and one down there if you'll see it. And I've got this this circuit here, which my amps, an amp and a few odd end devices, the receiver will be on it for now, right now. And each sub has its own dedicated 20 amp breaker, which of course runs uh, half the room over here. And this one runs half the room over here, which how much stuff do you really think is going to be plugged in on those circuits other than these two right here. I got me mounts on each side, do me a little sconce light on each end of the room. And I'm going to do a drop ceiling of course, and LED lighting in the drop ceiling. And I've got, uh, I'm going to be doing some dimmers in here, just two of them, one for the sconce and one for the LED lights, which you have to do a ton of research to make sure you get the right lights with the right dimmers to make sure it all works. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right here. Uh, room's looking pretty good. Going to sheet rock it up this weekend. I'll give you an update after that. But yeah, me and my office here. Yeah, we're gonna get that wrapped up and do the ceiling in it as well. So when I get some more progress, get some sheetrock up, I'll get you guys another video. Stay tuned.